Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. We have an interesting problem to solve here. We have tangent of 75 is equal to h divided by 100, 550 minus h. Now, tangent 75, you got to think of this one as ugly as it is. It's just a number. There's nothing more to it, nothing less to it. It's actually a 3.7 or something. It's a number. The best way to get out of fraction equations. I don't know about you, but I don't like fraction equations. So over the years, I've taught my students to draw this thing called a butterfly. It does literally look like a butterfly, right? So what butterfly says, look, when you cross multiply like that, so we're going to write it out, tangent 70, 75 times 510 minus h is equal to, keep the guts, this equal sign look like butterfly's guts, equal to 1 times h. Now, doesn't this equation look much better? I'm going to draw a happy face. Much better than this ugly, ugly looking fractional equation. All right, from here, all we have to do really just distribute it in there. Now, I am keeping this tangent 75 because I think it's prettier than writing 3.7, whatever those decimal points are. I'm just going to keep on dragging it along until I know what a h has as a form wise and then I'll put it together okay so I'm gonna n not multiply this I'm just gonna, I know this is a number so I'm gonna stubbornly just keep on writing it and then on this side I'm gonna move this one over which is equivalent of saying I'm gonna add this thing on both sides okay so I have H add tangent 75 degrees times H couple more steps over there. Pulling the h out, first one is 1, not a 0, because 1 times h is h, plus tangent of 75 degrees is equal to, I know, I know, I'm just stubbornly copying it. I don't like decimals. Okay, so h, and then equal to, I'm going to divide it this way. Once again, this is just a large number, as unpleasant as it, it is, but it's just a number. We can tame it. 1 plus tangent of 75 degrees. Now, reluctantly, I am going to have to evaluate this one. Now, hopefully, I didn't make any mistakes when I calculated it. I got 402 or so. Okay. Now, on the test, if you stopped here, at most, your teacher can take a half point away because theoretically, you didn't do anything wrong. Every single step is correct. Now, I resisted having a decimal there because in case I copy something wrong, then my teacher might think I got the wrong answer. On the test, that's the last thing I wanted my teacher to think. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so anyway, that's how we solve this type of problem. It's not really hard so long you can get through the first step. Okay, get out of this difficult fractional equation, and then everything else from there should be fine. All right, I hope it's clear. Love to hear from any comments you have, and let me know if you liked this video or it helped you at all. Uh, appreciate our comment on YouTube. Until next time, have a confident day.